I forgot to film any type of intro for this video. It's just been a busy week-wise. Um, I've been visiting family. I'm trying to get good lighting because it's like literally no, there's no natural lighting. And that's how I film, so I'm sorry. So I'm using like my sister's like ring light, which... Oy vey. So, hi guys. So today, I forgot to film an intro. I'm sorry. This is going to be like a vlog of all intro. I'm doing a wear test and review on the Tanologist Express Tan Self Tan Mousse in Dark. Now, you can get this at Target for $16.99 if you're in the States. Um, I don't know anywhere else. I know it is an English brand. So, wherever you can get it, um, I think probably like Boots or like Super Drug, somewhere along the line. Price, do they, is it a price line that the US, um, that the UK has? I'm not sure. I have like cat hair on my nose. I believe they also sell this at Ulta, um, but I got mine at Target. So this is a tan, a clear tan, which is why I've been avoiding it for so long. I typically like tans with color guides, um, so this doesn't have one, so it's very tricky. Um, it does tan apparently one to four hours, so you can choose the darkness. I fell asleep with mine. And so if you want to see what I think of it and how many days it's been on, just go ahead and keep on watching. If you're new here, hi, my name is Alexa. I upload every Sunday and Thursday. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get on to the video. We need to start now because I was outside for two seconds and I got bit by bugs. And I just want to scratch them. It's crazy. I have a bandeau on because I got my own. So I'm not demonetized because I have clothing on and my boobs are covered. Just a PSA for anybody who writes something about my body. It's my body. If you don't like it, sorry, it's not yours. I run, I eat healthy whenever I can. I just like to eat food sometimes as well. So, <sighs> this is me, okay? So I am so scared. To try this tanner I am scared because I don't I don't know if I'm gonna mess up you got this you know your body you did arrow liquid gold and that was barely anything and you didn't even see and it came out fine <laughs> I'm so scared. dude uh, I'm gonna be working out I, I'm gonna be running this week so if anything I'm just gonna put on my running pants and start sweating those off because <sighs> you can do this I, I do my armpits uh, with lotion Jesus please do not let me mess up on my feet my body anywhere that is visible please do not let me mess up amen shake it up at least you can see like how much of this is left I tried the self tanning drops and I think this might be like a, a red based tan, not a olive based, which is my go to. So that's what it looks like. Oh, this smells lovely. Like a rose just mixed with something. How do people with no guide color do this? Hopefully this is enough. Hopefully I get everything. One leg is done. I cannot tell the difference. I have a question. How am I supposed to get my back? I use the color guide to see where I miss. Am I getting? Oh, uh-oh. Um, this has some leftover tan on it. So it did work in my favor. But I need to stop using you because you're cross contaminating a product. I could see where I applied it because it's now glistening. Like, you see the glow? I know where I tend to miss. Oh, my body so the glow really does help 
because I would never have am I all glistening? Okay. If this can work well. This is a Target. This is a drugstore. Like, yeah, Bond R C N is a drugstore. And you can find it at Walgreens, but that's like in the 20s, and I don't consider a $20 drugstore. This is still mediocre. Oh, I've used quite a bit. Like, this is like 16 bucks, which is like E. But if it's better than the B Tan one, oh heck yeah. If you again, if you know your body and know where you tend to miss and make sure you don't miss, then you should be solid. Okay, I just have to do this one by really quickly. I just have to do my face hand and hands. So let's do that. I don't need to, I feel like I don't need to set anything because there's no color guard. I don't care how much I put on my face, honestly. Okay, hands. I just use, I'm gonna just use that much. Claudia, I don't know what you're doing here. But I'm trusting, trusting your brand, girl. I'm scared about my wrist. So I'm gonna rub those together because I don't know how well those are gonna look. This is what it looks like. You can't tell a difference because there is none. Except for my back because I messed up. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Well, I stained my brando. Transparent tanning system for zero streaks and zero transfer. This, this does transfer. My knee, I missed a spot on. So it's tan, circle of my natural skin tone. So I will have to fix that, um, but nothing really too bad. My hands did get some on this palm, nothing on this one, this one's fine. But this is what it looks like. It has that uh, self tan smell right now. So I will, I'm only gonna run and then I'm gonna go shower it off this small to see maybe if I might do any washing. Um, my feet are not the worst, but I didn't know where the tan was and to see how well I was blending it. So it's just a cut off line. So it's not like seamlessly falling into my skin from the bottom of my foot. It's like tan foot, if that makes sense. So that's it, but I'm just gonna go on a run and I will see you guys whenever I get a checkup. Update, I lied. I missed a spot. I don't know if you, yeah, you could see right here. Like, I missed it. So I'm gonna have to go over it after everything and after I get out of the shower, I'm just gonna have to use a self tanner and lightly go over that spot. It is Sunday. It's a vlog type of style type of video. This week has just been a busy week. This is like the California, at least right now when I'm filming, we are finally allowed to be out. So. I met up with a couple, we were still social distancing at the park with my two best friends. I hung out with my sister and her friends for a few hours as well. And then I believe within a week, why, why? It probably is like least, but um, apparently now we're gonna go. So it's nice, at least right now this is when I'm filming. I usually pre-film, so I don't know how, um, what's going on whenever I upload this in case I I know there's talks of us probably doing another lockdown so just in case I don't want you guys to be like oh why are you out look this is a pre-film video I'm sorry but this is what it looks like right now it looks very good I got complimented on this tan when I was out so it looks really nice I don't know can you see natural lighting I don't know this is it looks good um, however, I had, did go running yesterday, so today's Sunday, I went running on Saturday, which I never go running on a weekend, I usually go running Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursdays, those are my set days, um, and my leggings did rub off some of the tan near my inner thigh, <laughs> I'm not gonna show you guys, but just to forewarn you that maybe wait a few days before you work out because this apparently takes off the tan sweating takes off any type of tan 
so I usually don't have that happen as soon as a Thursday, uh, as a Sunday, Saturday. I usually get that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So, um, if you ever want to know, I don't know how long you guys work out. I try to work out four days a week right now during this world pandemic. The gyms did open. I'm not going to go right now. I just don't want to go to the gym. I just want to work out at home and do running at home. So that's what I'm doing. If you ever want to be like, how do you keep a tan on during workout? It's inevitable tan will rub off when you're sweating or when you're showering. It's just, that's just the life of a tan. But I really like this. This, I did use quite a bit of product. I'm assuming I'm only going to get one, two, three, about four uses out of this bottle. Um, it is a, just because I do generously um, apply this product since there is no color guard, I'm not like, oh, I could like, see where I'm applying it. I put on a crap ton of this tan because I don't know where it's going, so I'm just like spreading it around. But yeah, everything else is good. I was able, um, surprisingly, like I, so happy. I'm confident in my self tanning skills that this did not go wrong anywhere. Um, I did have my messed up on my palms, but uh, after a shower, can you see that? After one shot, like two showers, it's almost off right there just by scrubbing. So even if you do make a mistake, it's not gonna be, you can buff it out. It's not like any other tan that you're like, oh crap, this I'm stuck with this. It's easy just to buff out a mistake. So that is my update for right now. Yes, I am sweaty like a pig. Just finished running and I did a hit workout. As you can see, sweat is real. <laughs> but this is just my last check-in for this tan. It looks good. Like there is some fading, can you see? Like right here but I've been like sweating like crazy and that just is barely happening today on day six which is the time I usually take off my tan but it looks really good elsewhere I got in compliments on this tan I really like this tan I think it can go probably further like I'm having besides my forearm no patchiness anywhere not my legs um obviously my arm okay my armpits I lied my armpits are a little bit patchy but that's just because I sweat and I've been sweating and I've been running and so it's bound to come off but yeah I really like this tan for a drugstore one you cannot go wrong you can pick it up at Target or anywhere where they sell tanologists and I'm really out of breath I'm gonna go take a shower scrub off this tan and I will talk to you guys next time Whew.